hello everyone welcome back to my channel and yes you guys as you can tell new look new thing but i decided to come in and make a video because yeah i needed to it's been a lot going on but i won't start this video with all of that negative stuff if you have or you, if you keep up with my blog pages then you know a little bit as to what's going on right now with me but i'm not going to start the video off with that negative stuff so what i want to do is i want to show you some great finds and a lot of this stuff majority of this stuff was given to me and i'm very thankful um i just have with some of the most wonderful subscribers and uh viewers and people that i really really adore that i feel is very close to me kin wise even though we're not kin but i feel like we're kin okay so i like to show you some of the products and i am truly thankful for a lot of these products okay but let's go ahead and get uh started with the products because you know i love to show y'all like nice things that i find okay uh, a lot of times i am uh, given not a lot of times but sometimes the ones that i love and adore as far as uh subscribe certain subscribers or certain people they they you know out of the kindness of their hearts they reach out with me reach out to me and um uh, give me gift cards and things like that. So I'm truly honored and thank you and I'm thankful. <laughs> I do thank you and I'm thankful for all of that. Uh, you all, you don't have to do these things. I've mentioned that, but however, you know what? Uh, you will be blessed more and more and I'm really uh, thankful for the gifts, even though it's a gift card, but I am very um happy you know to uh, be blessed and i wish all of you many many blessings as well all right so let's go ahead and get it started into as far as products that i chose um i guess i go ahead and start with palettes because i always show y'all palettes that are unique or palettes that i haven't heard of or I may have heard of the brand, but I haven't actually purchased any of the products. One of these products is called um, Style Essentials. Uh, most of the time I see this brand advertised on TV and sometimes on the internet, depending on like what website I'm on and everything like that. Usually that's where I see like uh, this brand uh, mentioned or at least acknowledged and so I saw this in a local store and I had to grab it now I have created a makeup look on my other channel um, using this palette and I think that this is a fabulous palette by style essentials it's called the pro artist eyeshadow palette okay it looks like this right here now this palette contains mostly shimmer tones so the eye makeup look that you achieve or the eyeshadows appear on the eyes like pearlescent or opalescent so you're not going to get like a real bold eyeshadow color uh, maybe a few of these you could but majority of the shadows is very sheer and they're so sheer that you can wear any of these shades in this palette for every day. Um, <clears throat> they're just very opal and pearlescent, in other words, shimmery tones. And I've been into those looks. I feel like that right now for me is the eye makeup look that I adore the most. Okay, right now I do have on 
a pearl like color all over my lid which it doesn't come the eyeshadow is not from this palette I will show you the palette in a, in a minute but I had to mention this palette first because I've already showed it to my or at least done a makeup look on my other channel using this palette it is fabulous you guys I got this palette for five dollars and I am amazed by it this is like an everyday palette however I feel like I can use this palette even on a day night or something like that because it looks very beautiful the eyeshadows look very sheer and sparkly in a sense and with a bold lip or a bold eye um not eyeshadow but a bold um blush is so beautiful so you can wear this you know these shades a uh, day or night but i do love to wear a lot of these shades daytime i feel like this is a daytime appropriate palette love it it's one of my favorites then i saw this one this is the uh style essentials pro artist eyeshadow and blush palette okay you guys okay this palette is basically the same thing uh the shades are mostly shimmer okay um i should have swatched a few so you could see um that's how they look as you can tell those shimmer tones all right so when you place them on the eyelid and you start to blend they blend out sheer but you get this sparkly look like as you see on my eyes you know you get this like sheer color with a little bit of sheen and that's what i love about the products but anyways you get five blushes up here and i have on this blush this peachy tone blush and more of this pink tone blush right now on my cheeks as you can tell it's just enough pigmentation it's not a palette that's going to give you like really bold bold uh, makeup uh, look you know it's not really pigmented like super super pigmented but this these palettes give enough I guess color pay off that you achieve a beautiful look but it's somewhat sheer but just enough so if you if you're the type of person that's into makeup looks that look like really natural and not too bold uh, just enough you know you just don't want to um, like you don't want a full makeup type of look these this brand may be a brand that might be good for you it's by once again the brand style essentials i do love these i feel like i'm grabbing these every day okay i just love that little light as you can tell on my face like i use that palette and it just gives just enough um you know makeup to the face where you don't look like you're overdone okay however a lot of times i love the overdone makeup look okay let's let's be real i love those type of looks <laughs> all right the next palette um that i got is called let's see it's by the brand i guess it's called almar and it's called the natural beauty glam on the go it's an eye lip and cheek palette love palettes like this these are my go-to palettes i love them now this is what the palette looks like it reminds me of one of the um bare essentials palette I can't remember the name of it but it's very similar to me it looks similar but I have to say that this palette is just like the style essential palettes it just gives you this pearl like opal like eyeshadow look um, the blush is very sheer I'll swatch it but it does come with a nice size mirror as you see here and then you have six eyeshadow colors you have a highlighter but I think this is more great for a you know eyeshadow as well or a brow bone color I don't think it really highlights I mean not on me but it could for someone else but it looks like that and I'll swatch a few of these shades here 
And that's what they look like, you guys, right there. As you can tell, they're very pretty. This is a peachy gold tone. This one is more golden-like. And this one, of course, looks per completely like a pearl um, type of shade, like a pearl sheen shade. And then you get these blushes here, which is fantastic. Uh, the blushes, I didn't even bring a towel or anything to wipe my hands, but the blushes is very smooth. The product is smooth, and this is what the blushes look like. They're just peachy tones, okay? That's what they look like. Very natural. When I put this on, it looks like I have very little amount of makeup, and I do. Um, however, the makeup is just enough, okay? It's the same type of results like the Style Essential palettes. But I do like that, and I've been into those type of looks. And so, yeah, and then you get two lip glosses, which are very natural. Like on my lips, it just looks like I have a sheen, okay? It doesn't look like I have on um, lipstick, because these colors pretty much just fits in with my lip color but yeah you guys that's another palette i'm sure if you're interested in any of these palettes i'm sure you probably probably can find these palettes like uh like i always say i say it all the time amazon ebay i'm sure you can find it but this is a go-to palette i do my entire face with this palette like my eyeshadows is in there um, my, my lip gloss is there, my blush is there. I mean, all I have to do is put on liner or mascara or eyelashes and do my brows and you know, I'm good to go. Put on some powder foundation, I'm good to go. Great palette, um, highly recommend that palette as well, okay? So far, all of these, so far, you guys, all of the palettes, I have been impressed with those I have used okay and here's another one I have used there's two more and then there's two that I haven't used now this one was sent to me just yesterday I did create a makeup look but I I've edited it and everything but I haven't uploaded it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna upload the video on my blog page even though it's gonna be a long blog I might split it up in several blogs uh, but I talk about some new products and this was one of them this is the kiss professional New York uh, goddess eyeshadow palette this is a gorgeous palette however let me show you what it looks like real quick this is what it looks like however I have to say that the colors as you see them like they look beautiful right that's why i chose this palette um but i have to say that the colors do not apply the same as far as the shade on your eyelids okay just like this color here this color here looks like a beige like a peachy beige tone this shade is what I have on right now. To me, it doesn't have too much of, it has a little bit of peach, but it has a little bit of a golden, um, like a golden type of eyeshadow. And you guys, this one right here really surprised me because this one looks like a yellow gold, even though it looks like a peach tone. And that's why I got the palette. That's why I chose this palette because I love the peachy tones here because it's getting fall time. I love anything like kind of orange or peachy. Uh, into my crease as far as eyeshadows so yeah I was very disappointed but the pigmentation is great I'm, I'm not regretting the palette I just wish the colors was the same as you see them in the palette but this is what this color looks like you guys see there that is a yellow gold shade look at that and on, in the pan it looks like a peach tone I'll show you see there I mean, you can see a little bit of peach, but it's more golden. It's like a yellow shade. When you apply it onto the lids, it looks completely like a yellow gold. So the colors can be a bit deceiving, um, but still the pigmentation is really great. Um, you don't have no problems with the color payoff, but I just have to say that the colors does not 
uh, apply onto the eyelids as you see them in the pan, okay? So that's the thing that I don't like about this palette, but hey, okay. I will still wear, the, you know, use these eyeshadows. I will still use this palette. It's just the colors. You'll have to test them out because they do not apply onto the skin the way that they look inside the palette. That's the only thing about that one. And I hate that because I was really, really happy about the peachy tones or um, uh, the peachy tones to me was what just kind of drawed my attention to that palette. All right, the next palette is the Truly Yours uh, palette. Um, this one is one of those palettes where um, the shadows can be a little bit patchy, but I have to say I do like the palette. Um, the colors go on very sheer. Um, it's just like those palettes. Like I said, almost all the palettes is almost very similar. You don't get a whole lot of color. Well, you get a little bit more color payoff with these, okay? Um, but the shades do go on a little patchy, uh, as you can see here, maybe right there. The shades go on just a little bit patchy, but you know what? It's not too bad. Um, and you have to use a good bit of eyelid primer. But I have to say, though, I will still use the palette. You know me. I'll still use the palette. I mean, I will just load my eyelids up full of eyelid primer. <laughs> I will make it work, okay? I will make this work. Um, but to me, the prettiest colors is uh, the colors... All of them is pretty, but I do have my favorites and the ones that really is pigmented. Like I said, this one is pigmented, uh, this one is pigmented, that one's pigmented, and um, if I'm not mistaken, the silver one is very pigmented. Yeah, the silver shade is pigmented. So there's a few that's very pigmented, but uh, you know, you have to use a good bit of eyelid primer, but it's an okay palette. It's... I mean, for the price, you know, I can't complain. They are very reasonable priced. The next few palettes are palettes that I uh, have not used, and I'm waiting to do a first impression video um, applying, um, you know, the products to my face. And one of the products is the Profusion No Filter Needed Selfie Makeup Kit. I have not even used this palette yet. And I think I've already mentioned it over here. I don't know if I have or not. I've mentioned it, I think, on a blog post. I think. Um, not sure, you guys. I'm all over the place because so much is going on right now. But hey, I'm not discouraged, honey. But anyways, um, I want to show you. Now, the top has been broken and I got a discount for it but uh, I want to show you what's inside you get two bronzers and you get six eyeshadows you get four layers of highlighters you get two blushes and three lip glosses okay I can do my whole entire face I have everything I need bronzers blushes highlights eyeshadows lip gloss okay um, these palettes I tend to like the most right now. I love to have palettes that have everything that I need, you know, and I don't have to like grab and reach for other products. All right. So, hold on. <laughs> so that's a good thing for me. I really like this palette and yeah, you guys, I... I look forward to do a first impression video, maybe on this channel, if you like, uh, just to show you. But this is a very inexpensive palette as well. I think I got this one for, I think it was $10. And I think with the discount, because the, the top is broken, I think somebody just dropped it. Didn't nobody use it because I could tell no one has used it. But I think maybe somebody dropped it. I think I got this for seven dollars because it was um, the top was broken, but I still wanted it because I feel like I could use that a lot because it has basically everything that I need. Okay. All right, the next product is a eyeshadow palette. It's by Style Essentials, okay? I got a lot of that brand because I really haven't tried Style Essentials that I know of. 
I haven't tried. I think I have a blush palette that I got like a year and a half ago. I think by Style Essentials. And uh, I have it back there in my collection. But I think that's the only product that I have by Style Essentials. Except for these current products. But I have to show you the shades you guys. This one is called Essentials. Essential nudes okay it's an eyeshadow collection you guys right here and i cannot wait i am more thrilled to use this one i haven't touched it because i want to do a first impression uh but this is what the eyeshadows look it's not pretty i think the packaging is beautiful this rose gold uh packaging or case is lovely you have some peach tones mauvey tones uh some cool tones i think majority of these are like cool tones and i have to say i think there's only like two matte maybe three matte shades wait let me see i think this is what it is it's similar to the it cosmetic palette one of them on the top layer they are matte okay the top layer is matte up here and then down here you have all the shimmer or sheen type shades down there and i can swatch a few of them just for you to see uh let's see that's what they look like so pretty much i feel like most of my uh palettes are palettes that gonna give that sheen or pearlescent opalescent type of uh finish to my eyes in a sense but i'm okay with that like i said i've been loving that look and so i feel like i'm going to be very impressed with this palette it looks fabulous um in the in this case and I think it will look fabulous on my eyes as far as the eyeshadow. So I'm excited to give that a try. I haven't tried those two, the last two. All right, the other products. Um, let's see, I'm trying to see. I picked up a few products from, let's see. Um walmart basically except for one um i picked up three of these hard candy eye depth chrome eyeshadow crayons i really haven't used these except for this one and i used this one for an eyeshadow i think this was in a product of the week video and you guys honestly uh yeah these are okay these they're okay um, I'm not saying I love them, but I don't like them either. I just feel like these are basically just eye bases, okay? But you can use it for an eyeshadow. I used this particular rose gold shade for an eyeshadow one day. And the look turned out really pretty. I was impressed. Like, this color is very impressive look at that that rose gold shade right there i mean that's gorgeous right i like that one now i did use that one for an eyeshadow um this blue one to me it just looks it doesn't have that chrome effect to me uh so that's one thing about these if you're thinking about purchase purchasing any of these uh what is it i delf uh eyeshadow chrome eyeshadow crayon uh, some of them does not have that chrome like this has the chrome the rose gold does you can see that chrome look this one just looks matte to me however it's okay it's the matte uh eye crayon so hey we can use that okay as a base or as an eyeshadow or to line the lower lash line you know things like that now this purple one which is called psychedelic purple and that blue one was called i don't think i told you the name blazing blue and this one right here in purple this one has a little bit of a chrome finish but not much it's not as chrome as the rose gold so out of all three i wish i had just got the rose gold and left you know i don't too much care for these two because that's there's not much of a chrome effect down here with these two but the chrome effect is um, apparent with the rose gold shade but anyways i will use them for eye bases okay all right or eyeshadows who know if i'm in a rush and i need to use it for an eye um you know an eye 
base or what an eyeshadow i will okay doesn't matter i'll use it one way or the other okay <laughs> the other product is maybelline the falsies push-up angel this is a new mascara i am very i feel like i i'm going to be very impressed with this mascara i haven't tried this i need to do a first impression video uh applying this mascara to my lashes you guys this has an amazing wand like this is so beautiful it has this curve light you see it and then it has these little bristles on top where you can grab the lashes now lately i have been wearing false lashes so i really don't need like to use this quite yet but i decided i will do a first impression video and i will not have on falsies of course and do a first impression on um this mascara and just let you know how i feel about this mascara okay but this one is called the maybelline the falsies push-up angel you know i love the push-up bra uh mascara by maybelline love it it's one of my favorite mascaras i don't know if i'm gonna like this one but i do love the name angel i love it so i'm excited to give this a try and see if i'm gonna like it okay i feel like i will all right so yeah all right the next thing that i got is this la girl pro conceal hd high definition concealer this one is in the shade um warm honey okay i have this on right now and i have to say y'all this is one of the best concealers i've heard many people talk about this concealer and i have used this concealer a while back and then i just started using other concealers i really didn't give it a chance even though it, it's very smooth it, it just blends out it's a great concealer uh but i just didn't give it a chance and now i've been grabbing this for the last i say this week and i have to say that this is a great concealer i feel like it's one of the best concealers very inexpensive easy to blend out as you can see my under eyes just look gorgeous i feel like that if you have issues with that sorry my bangs i'm not used to bangs i ain't had bangs like this in a long time but if you're the type of person that is um like you have problems with gray cast i used to have that issue and a lot of times i do have that issue and i think the older we get we tend to have that issue you know having a gray cast now some people just don't use the right type of concealer and take pictures and that's kind of normal okay but i'm just talking about whether you're taking pictures or not you kind of have this gray cast underneath the eyes now i've been using this and i've been uh setting it with a setting powder and you guys i don't have that gray cast underneath my eyes which i pretty much don't have that as often as i used to because i'm kind of i'm a little bit more knowledge knowledgeable about concealers now because i used to have the hardest time finding correct concealers um so yeah you guys this is a great one you should try it if you have any issues with gray cast underneath the eyes or you need a concealer that will smooth out and you guys i'm 40 years old so if you're in my age group or something hey this is a great concealer it's moisturizing it's not too dry it's not too moisturizing it's just right it's an awesome concealer highly recommend that one that one's really good i can see why so many people talked about that concealer now the next few things that i got is i had to pick up well i went ahead and got another one of the femme couture get luminous uh concealer pens now i've been using the one in medium i can use it underneath my eyes but i really like to apply this on my eyelids because this really uh i don't know it just smooths out on my eyelids and when I place the Aziza powder on top, my eyeshadows look so smooth on my eyelids. So I can't stop using this one for my eyelids. You know, I don't want to use it for concealer as well. So I went ahead and got another one, but I got one in the shade light. That one is in the shade medium. And I got this one in case I want. Now, 
I want to say first of all, I do have a backup on the medium. So whenever I want to conceal underneath my eyes with this pen, I have another one. But I got one in, in fair because I have kind of been into highlighting and contouring lately. So I feel like I will use this fair for that. And also I will use it like right here in the inner corner where we have a lot of... Um, dark pigmentation right up in here. I know I do. I have dark circles, okay? So I use a little bit of a brightener type of concealer just right here. And then I use my regular shade underneath and I just blend it all together and it just brightens my under eye. So that's what I use. And this, y'all, is a fabulous uh, concealer pen. You get this at Silas Beauty Supply. Love this concealer pen. It's smooth. It glides on. Easy to blend. A fabulous product. Okay. Love it. It's one of my favorites. And then I just picked up a Bitsy Glitter Cream Eyeshadow. I haven't used this, but it's like, um, it's like a dark blue and it's got different color or different flexes of, uh, color of glitter in it. As you can see here. So this one is called Star Struck, okay, 515-273. So I'm excited to create a look with this, okay. So yeah, all right, so I picked up, I had to go to Dollar Tree and I picked up a few products at Dollar Tree, you guys. And um, these are the few products that I picked up. Um, you know from my... Uh, maybe you don't know because I, I have two channels so some things I mention on one channel and then some things I mention on the other one but anyways um, I've mentioned hold on okay here we go um, <laughs> gotta get used to it gotta get used to it so uh, you know how much I've talked about uh, Dollar Tree false nails. I wear a lot of Dollar Tree false uh, nails. Majority of the time when you see me with nails on, I have purchased the nails from Dollar Tree. Now, I do go to Walmart as well at times, but Dollar Tree false nails is like legit, really good. The thing is you have to buy a good bit because some of them will crack because that's just the way nails is. I don't care. You can go to Walmart and get nails and they crack and break real quick. That ain't got nothing to do with it. But they have some gorgeous false nails. They even have like French tip nails. I have some as far as collection back there where I've got some that look like real legit French tip nails. Like if you didn't tell nobody that they were full cover nails, uh, people would think you went to a salon. Like they are just such good quality. And the brand is called Sassy and Cheek which is a brand that Dollar Tree sells a lot of the times. And as you can tell, I have on this color right here, this one here, and these glow in the dark. Yes, they do, you guys. They really do glow in the dark. I think that these are fabulous, especially if you're going to trick, what is it? Uh, trick or treat <laughs> for Halloween these will be great to have on you know because they glow in the dark and I just think that they look fabulous they're a great length to me this is the length okay this is how long that they are they're not too long they're not too short they're just right and I wanted to mention these nails because if you have looked at my channels you know I have bought these or I've had Dollar Tree hauls where I've shown uh, nails that I have bought from Dollar Tree. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. I love those nails. Another thing that Dollar Tree sells is the LA Colors Drama Lash. Um, I have two other styles, but lately I've been into this style here. This is the Dolly 973s. Okay. These look so beautiful and natural. That's what I have on right now, you guys. These are the lashes right here. Amazing eyelashes. Uh, I've gotten a lot of compliments. Um, even some people, you know, mention, hey, what lashes do you have on? And, um, yeah, that's what I have on, you guys. These are the LA Colors Drama Lash 
uh, in Dolly 973. Um, they're very long and separated, and uh, so this just brings out natural eyeshadow looks, in my opinion. But you can, uh, you know, you can create a very um, dramatic uh, eye makeup look and wear them as well. But I feel like these are very pretty when you have like a, just a sheen of eyeshadows or something very natural on the eyelid. I think that these eyelashes are amazing for those type of looks, okay? These were a dollar, of course. Even the nails was a dollar. They're at Dollar Tree, okay? Another surprising, surprising product that I found at Dollar Tree. It's by the brand Sassy and Cheek. It's an eye makeup remover. You guys, okay, I've been wearing uh, eyelashes and stuff uh, you know, for about a week now because I had started, you know, I had started to begin to stop wearing eyelashes and then I thought, okay, my eyes makeup just would look so much better with eyelashes. So I started back using or applying eyelashes and I said, this time I'm not going to get lazy and just start pulling the eyelashes out or off, <laughs> I'm going to actually get an eye makeup remover, which I had some, but I've had it for a while. Cause I try to, I really don't use eye makeup removers that much because honestly, you guys, at one point I was using eyelash or eye makeup removers and eye makeup removers drive my eyelids out. That's what I was having, you remember, I don't know if it was this channel, but I remember telling my other channel I done a few videos. I was complaining about my eyelids being dry. Okay. I have to say, if you use a lot of eye makeup removers, be careful. If your eyelids start getting dry, like every time you apply your eyeshadows, your eyeshadows don't go on smooth, like your eyelids is very dry, it could be your eye makeup remover. You could be using too much of it. But anyways, I said, okay, I got to get an eye makeup remover so that I can loosen up that glue and just gently pull the band off, you know, the eyelash band off so I won't pull my natural lashes. So I saw this one, I thought, okay, it's a dollar. But what I did notice was this, when I got home, it said it was compared to a Maybelline uh, eye makeup remover. And I can't remember which one, but it has it on the box uh, that came that it came out of. And um, so this is, it says it's for washable. Okay. This one is for washable eye makeup. So it's all free, fragrance free, safe for sensitive eyes. Safe for sensitive eyes. That is what I look for because my eyes is sensitive. So I've been using this to remove my eyelashes. You guys, I don't remove the eye makeup and my brow color. I just use it to just remove the eyelashes just to loosen up that glue and get the eyelashes off and you guys this is really good and it's just a dollar at Dollar Tree like this is amazing to get um lash glue off and everything to get your lashes off okay as far as false eyelashes that is amazing makeup remover for the eyes all right and the next product since we're talking about the eyes is the sassy eyelash glue uh this was given to me once again Mo most of all this stuff was given to me except for that few dollar tree stuff but most of this stuff was given to me this is the sassy eyelash glue uh it's a salon eyelash glue this is the dark adhesive and this says that it is an anti-fungus natural extract that is added into the product. It dries quickly, it's waterproof, and it's durable. It's holding power, shape well before use. Now this is a professional eyelash glue that a lot of women use in salons to apply false eyelashes. I have been using it, my eyes haven't been irritable. Um, I do like it. However, the, the way that I like to use glue, I like to actually apply the glue onto my lash line and then apply my lashes. So because of that, it gets a little messy with me. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Um, you know, I like to apply my glue onto my lash line 
and then put the eyelashes on and the only thing is is that that could get messy but if you can actually apply the glue onto the lash band and apply it fabulous but if you like to apply your lash glue onto your eyelids and then apply your lashes, I don't recommend that unless you have really practiced because you don't want glue to get into the eye, but I've done it so long too, it's, it's easy for me. It's easier for me to apply lashes when I apply the glue onto my lash line and then the lashes. When I apply glue onto my eyelash band, I just make a mess, okay? Let glue be out on my eyelids. So this is wonderful. The holding power is pretty good, but you do have to really apply the lash glue on your lashes. But once it's on there, it's good. It is similar to weave glue. If you have had or worn weave, then you know that you can use weave glue to actually apply weave onto the hair. And this is just like weave glue. Yes, it is. It's very strong, very durable. It's the same. I mean, the smell, the color, everything is the same. Um, so yeah, I mean, fantastic. I'm excited to have a product like this. And I have to say, so far, so good. Uh, it's just, it gets messy with me because I actually use a brush. Like I pour the product out, use a brush, dip it in there and apply it to my lash line. Then apply my lashes. So it gets a little messy, but you know what, you guys? It does hold on. It's really good, okay? It's very durable as it says. All right, the next product that was given to me is, since I was talking about that being a weave glue, uh, this product was given to me. This is the Weave Aid Healthy Hair Care. All right, this is a pomade for the hair. I chose the color brown and the color black. And what this does is that you know how a lot of us have thin edges, okay, on the side here of the um, hairline. And sometimes we like to wear ponytails, but we have thin edges. So what this product does is that it is a pomade that will that you apply to your edges and it actually make your hair look thicker. I'll show you here. On the picture here, as you can see, right here on this picture, her edges is very thin but not super thin, but somewhat thin. And then when she applies the pomade, this is how her edges look there. So I'm excited because I didn't even know that there was a product like this because sometimes I would love to just pull my hair back and you know I have thin edges due to just chemicals and things that I've had a bad experience with salons. So, you know, uh, I mentioned that when I done a, the Pure Door video um, explaining my hair care journey, which I'm still on. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm excited to try this product and I will let you know more about it. It does cover gray. It says gray coverage. So if you have gray hair on the side it will cover so this is a great product and once again i have it for brown i have one in brown and one in black brown is when i go blonde and when i'm uh brown or if i have black hair like i do now um i will use the black one to smooth my edges but yeah i'm excited to show you this product once again it's called weave aid it's the healthy hair care um edge pomade okay edge pomade all right, so that's a wonderful product. Two more products, you guys. I have the Pons uh, Clarence B3 Dark Spot Correcting Cream. It diminishes dark spots, even skin tone. It's for normal to dry skin. I've been using this lately because my skin have been producing a lot of oils. And you know I use my collagen cereal, my hard candy, um primer and my hard candy primer mist however right now i don't need all of that uh on my skin because my skin has been very oily so i've been using this pons cream which is one of my favorite it's old school product you guys but pons is an amazing product yes it has that smell and all but i love the smell um I just love this product. This is just an old school product and yes, I do recommend it. This is also good to remove makeup, 
uh, like in the evening when you're done and you're getting ready to take your evening shower, if you apply this onto your skin and you let the shower get really steamy, like the bathroom gets steamy, and you place this on your skin and you take the shower but leave that on, it will dissolve the makeup. The makeup will come off. When you get done, all you got to do is get a towel and all that makeup is coming off. So Pons is a lovely product. I don't care. It's old school, but it is a great product. Okay, but this one, you this is a moisturizer. So you place this on before you apply your makeup and your skin is moisturized enough. And uh, yeah, it helps with the uh, foundation application going on smoother as well all right the last product would be the milani bronzer this one is in 04 glow uh i got this because this is a highlighter it says it's a bronzer but it's actually a highlighter for me i do like this one what i like to use this for is i like to top my uh highlighters to just stick the highlighters out as you can see you see that glow there it's not a bronzer. It's actually a highlighter. There it is right there. Well, I'm touching right here. That is it. So it's a great highlighter. It's a great highlighter topper. Or you can use it alone. But I like to top that on top of other highlighters just to stick out the color or the highlight a little bit more. So yeah, you guys, those are a few products that I wanted to come over here and mention to you all. Um, you can consider it a haul, but I don't because I've had these products, like I said, um, these products was given to me. And so uh yeah i just wanted to share what was given to me and uh just tell you a little bit about the products i love to do these type of videos over here on this channel you know that um and i hope some of those palettes were some palettes that you may be interested in um because normally you don't find those type of palettes just in any store um so yeah, you guys, uh, I just wanted to share those products with you, let you know some of the new products. And I look forward to coming back in and creating some makeup looks and things for you all. And you guys, I have to say something, a few things have changed. I had told y'all I would start making two videos a week, but some things have happened to me. Um... Y'all should remember over here on this channel, you can remember I used to do the uh, chat and relax videos where I talk about how was my week, what's going on, all that stuff. I had to get back to those videos. Sometimes, you know what, I do like those videos at times and I, I felt like those was videos that was really you getting to know me, you know, a little bit more outside of just makeup, you know, you get to know me as a person and what I may be going through or what I face or, you know, those are, those videos were very nice. I used to love just sit down for 10 minutes and just tell you how my week was, you know, how my week has been and what's going on and stuff like that. But anyways, you guys, I have to say that I had mentioned to you all in one video that my stolen, um, my ID has been stolen. My entity, uh, my entity, <laughs> entity, uh, <laughs> but I had told y'all about my identity had been stolen back when I was in ninth grade. Okay. I uh, didn't know nothing about it until I made that video, which was about a year ago, I think. And so, you guys, I have a few more things that popped up that I didn't know about it. Now, um, these things, obviously, this one thing is major. And I knew that what I had told you all was true, but you know, a lot of times things have to be proven. And in that case, that when I mentioned that on my YouTube channel, um, when I had talked to someone about that, well, because it had been so many years that even though that has showed up on my record as a, um, 
you know, someone had filed, I'm not going to get into it. But anyways, it has showed up on my credit, but it also had been removed because after 10 years, you know, anything on your social security, um, as far as finances and things like that, it get removed if someone has done something as such as that circumstance and I'm not getting into it so it had been removed so they said well you know ain't nothing you know pretty much that's over with it's not on you no more so don't worry about it well this that I'm talking about right now is something that is closer uh, as far as the year this came up you guys I found this out um a few days ago and yeah you guys it's on my credit report and this is something that I have not done. Okay, so obviously someone has my numbers. Um, someone obviously is using my social security numbers. And yeah, it's hurting me financially. I was wondering why some of the simplest things, you know, I'm not getting into it. Some of the simplest things have been hard for me. And so I'm glad that I have found out uh, the circumstance why these little bitty things were so hard for me to do or to achieve. So now I've got to do things to get this resolved, find out who has my ID and uh, get down to it. Um, it's just a lot of crap going on. You guys, you know me and about my life. I've always been kind of um, completely honest with you all. I've always told y'all that I have a lot of people that don't like me in my area. And it's no secret. I've talked about those things. So yeah, this is not a shocker for me because, you know, when people hate, they're going to hate. And on top of that, hate loves to hurt. Okay. And I just feel like this is something that they tried this person or whoever these people is or person is just trying to hurt me more. Okay. But the thing is, I am not going to let this hurt me. I'm not going to let this stop me from doing what I love to do, which is to create these videos for you all. Uh, I, once I did write on my blog that I felt like I may be able to put one or two videos up a month. I can't do that. I can't let this stop me from doing what I love to do. I love you all subscribers or viewers that support my channel. I love doing, uh, creating makeup looks and showing you inexpensive products that you can obtain and create wonderful makeup looks. I cannot stop presenting that because I am that chick that, you know, is on a budget and I know that, you know, you see all of this, you know, these brands and things, which nothing wrong with brands, but some of us cannot afford brands like that. And sometimes we have to go and get us something a little bit cheaper. Well, I want to progress that, hey, I'm one of those chicks, you know, I, I get what I can afford and I create some looks that people with brands, name brands create. And you can do that. And you know I show you those things you can you can use cheap makeup and come out with a beautiful makeup look I can't stop now you know I've come too far I cannot stop I love you all you all has been here with me when I had uh, nobody you started you know at least you saw something in me and you subscribed and that means the world to me you know numbers is it, 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 it is you know to have one person to subscribe is beautiful, okay? So I saw my numbers start to increase. I can't let you down, okay? I'm gonna always come in and um, present to you some fabulous products and create some makeup looks for you all as I always have and talk to you about things, you know, as I always have. And so, yeah, you guys, that's what's going on, but I'm not gonna let that interfere with what I love to do, which is to create some makeup videos for you all. So, yeah, you guys, I love you, and I just, um, you know, just want to let you all know that uh, instead of two videos, I feel I feel like it will be one video a week. 
um and i can't tell you specific days i would get ready to tell y'all specific days for two videos a week i can't do that because i honestly don't know like what this process is going to be and what i may have to do etc 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 okay but you can look for a video once again a week and who knows if i do have time to make another video or create another video i will okay all right you guys i love you and i thank you for supporting my channel i thank all of my subscribers my viewers uh, I wish you all just many, many blessings, and I thank you for taking the time out to uh, watch my videos. Uh, that means a lot to me, and uh, yeah, you guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening, and may God bless every single one of you, and you pray for me as I will pray for you, okay? That's what we do for each other, okay? All right, you guys, I'll let you go, all right? All right, bye. <laughs> and don't forget, you is beautiful and you stay that way all the time, no matter what. Like me, I'm going through this ordeal, but you know what? I'm going to stay beautiful no matter what, okay? You do the same. All right, you guys, bye. <laughs>